Please welcome from Max Pizza Shack, Business of the Year, Bill McMullen. This is the before and the still before. <laughs> and you may be wondering, why am I holding a pizza box? Well, that's because we have one of these empty pizza boxes for each and every one of you as you go out the door today. And all you have to do is call Max Pizza Shack and bring this box in, and we'll give you one that's full with one of our medium pizzas. <laughs> You're going to hear me talk a lot about gratitude today. You know, for almost 34 years, we've been a part of this community. And uh, we're so grateful for that because you've allowed us to raise our families and be a part of this community. And that's really a neat thing. And we're really lucky to have a community like Jadesville. Um, you know, um, a couple of people that I have to recognize are, uh, I want to recognize my partner, Eric Bickle. And her husband, Steve. <laughs> Eric has been with us for uh, 24 years. If I sound like I'm a little nervous, it's because I'm a little bit nervous, but so bear with me here. But Eric has been with us for 24 years, and uh, you know, I couldn't have picked a better life uh, partner for uh, helped me run this business and uh, I'm so grateful for her, for her and Steve and for all the help they give us. And we have uh, four managers that uh, help us run the, the store at Max and they do a great job. Megan Monat, uh, Erica Gregg, Amy Hansen, and Ben Worley. We're, uh, we're extremely grateful to have a bunch of young people that really helps us in the whole Mac team about a lot of uh, high school kids, you know. There's always been uh, <clears throat> a lot of times people will say, you know what, the, the kids today aren't as good as they used to be. You know what, that's not true. It's not true at all. They're hardworking. You're going to have to put some expectations to them. But you know what, they always come through for you. So, You know, and uh, I'd like to also thank my wife, Robin. We have five kids and all five of our kids have worked at Max over the years. And, uh, and my son, Stuart, is here. and. Uh, my daughter, Jenica, here, is here. And I want to thank Robin because, you know, <clears throat> uh, I always tell people, I talk to my wife on the way up and on the way down on the emotional roller coaster of running a small business. Okay. And, any, and many of you know what that's like. In the last three and a half years, it's been, it's been a challenge to run a small business in Janesville. You know, the first, uh, we opened uh, June 1st, 2007. <laughs> In the, uh, that first month, uh, my flour prices went from uh, from nine dollars a bag to thirty-five dollars a bag, and then my cheese prices doubled. And then the next month, GM said, "Oh, by the way, we're leaving town." You talk about bad timing. <laughs> but uh, you know, and then you know, but you're really excited about being in business, and you're really pumped, and you're you don't you don't really realize that you really don't know what you're doing, but you're just kind of going along with it. Anyway. <laughs> you know, and then you get six months into this thing, and then you and you know you, and there's like four phases of competency. You know, the first phase is the unconscious incompetency, and then six months later is the conscious. Incompetence. And that's where you really realize you have no idea what you're doing and why the hell am I here and how do I get out of it. And that's really a good place to be sometimes. And what, what happened to me is, is we got to that point and we, we said, your back's to the wall, you've got your properties mortgaged, and everything's on the line. So at that point you really have to start to go to work. And. Uh, we did. We struggled with our identity, and uh, we struggled with putting some pizza recipes together. 
And we finally got those right. And then about a year into it, my brother said to my brother Dave, who was I bought the business from, and many of you know, he said, you know what, you got to put in roasted chicken. And you know, many of you uh, maybe don't know this, but my brother had a chicken store before he had a pizza place. And he had fried chicken that was to die for. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, you help me out. And he says, you bet we will. And, he, and, he, and I'll be forever grateful to him for doing that. So we got with a local company, the Broaster Company out of Beloit. Jeff and uh, Tara Sumter have Sumter sales down there. They helped us get the Broasters, showed us how to do the recipes. And now there's a lot of people and a lot of our customers tell us we have the best chicken in town. The Broasted Chicken was the game changer for us. You know, that was the... That was the product that separated us from the rest of the pizza places in town. And rather than try to run away from buffets, we embrace the buffets. When our customers, and many of you have been our customers for many, many years, and we're very, very grateful for that. But when customers come in, we want to have great customer service. We think that's so important. When somebody comes in and they said, hey, listen, could you do me a favor? Could you put me in a sausage, mushroom, and pepperoni? We'd be glad to do it, you know, and, and we got try to do a lot of the little things that run our business and run it well. Um, in addition to doing the uh, lunch and dinner dinner buffet, uh, we we added a lot of different. Uh, once we've started putting the, you know, the first year and a half was really, it was just trying to get our business, we were running lean, like every every small business in Janesville was running lean. Nobody was having a great time back then, and we all still struggle today. But the one great thing about Janesville is we help each other out, and we try to do those things that we can, we can really uh, do to help each other out. One of the things that we added to our menu was a gluten-free pizza uh, and gluten-free chicken tenders. There's a lot of people in town that have uh, gluten issues. And it's so neat to see a family come in and tell me that they haven't been able to go to a restaurant because their child can't eat pizza anymore because he has gluten issues. We had one little boy who was 13 years old. And I went up and I asked him how his pizza was, and all he did was he had this big old grin on his face, and he goes like this. <laughs> how was everything? And he's just grinning. He never said a word, but he was so happy just to have pizza and be able to go out with his family. So we try to do a lot of different things in, uh, in supporting our community and, and putting different items on. One of the th things that we've done is we've... Uh, we've, uh, we've started a casual catering where uh, we can bring, bring products to your uh, businesses. We can, uh, it's great for Super Bowls. Uh, it's coming up, <laughs> go Packers. I'm not on the team, by the way. <laughs> but you know, we try to let our managers have a lot of impact, or a lot of input in our, our, our business. We try to have monthly meetings to let them know how we're doing as a business. You know, Megan Monat, one of our managers, she came to me last year and she said, hey, I'd like to try to do some uh, car shows. And I said, sure, go ahead, do it. So once a month for six months, we have car shows out at Max on Saturday night, the last Saturday of the month. And it, it was amazing the number of people that would come to those car shows. I was just astounded. I thought, there's no way people are going to come to that. But I was wrong. You know, and it's really neat to watch them grow and develop and uh, uh, be of such great character. So we're so grateful to have uh, them in our lives and all the MAC team. And, and uh, you know, like uh, my buddy Sam over here, Sam Loisel. He's got. Uh, he's a retired school teacher. Now he's an entrepreneur. He's got a little Sam's photography going. You know, he's another young local uh, local businessman. You know, and it's so neat to have uh, those kinds of people in our lives. Sam's been one of our customers for many, many years, as many of you have been. So. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. Glad we're feeding you well, Sam. <laughs> 
you know, I'd be a little bit remiss if I did not thank my son Stuart and Sam because they helped me to uh, develop my website, uh, MaxPizzaShack.com. Uh, and my son runs, uh, my son Stuart runs the uh, Facebook, does a great job for me because he, God knows, he knows I don't know how to do that. <laughs> There's no way that's he's going to happen. But, uh, you know, I got a little story to tell you about Stuart. Stuart was five years old when he first started working at Max, and I, I put him on a milk crate, and his first job was spreading the cheese, you know. And he went to half-day kindergarten at that time. Well, half-day kindergarten, what a novel approach that was, you know. But anyway, he, we'd, we'd go at 8 o'clock, and we'd get done at 12, and we'd pick him up and take him home. Well, the next year, it's first grade. And Stuart went to St. John Vianney School over there, and I lived right around the corner, so I'd go and pick him up. I'd walk over there and pick him up. And he starts school in September, about mid-October, we're walking home, and Stuart says to me, he says, now, Dad, he says, let me get this straight. There are no more half days, are there? <laughs> <laughs> I said to him, kid, there's no more half days ever. <laughs> It's, it's memories like that that really help me to be very, very grateful about being a part of Jamesville. Because, you know, we're in this thing together. Uh, and we can't do this by ourselves. You know, and we would have never been able to sponsor as many of the sports teams and do what we do in the community if it hadn't been for you, our customers. And we're so grateful for that. A lot of this stuff would have never happened and we help each other out whenever we can do local and help each other locally. If the YWC calls for helping or hospice, we want to try to be the business that says yes. Whatever we can do and help in whatever way we want to be able to do that. And I want to thank Forward Janesville because I think they do a great job. That Rock County 5.0, I think they're spot on mm -hmm. on getting businesses in here and how they're making that approach on getting businesses in the Janesville. And you know, Janesville, I'm very grateful that we had GM for all those years. But you know what? We don't have them right now. But you know what? I wouldn't be a bit surprised if some way down the line they says, you know, Janesville is a great community. They had great workforce. Maybe we ought to look at Janesville again. But you know what? We're not waiting for that to happen. We're moving forward, and we're helping each other out. And to me, that's what it's all about. And I thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of Jamesville.